Well, hello. Welcome back. I am Mr. Iker. Thanks for joining me. Today in this video, we're going to be learning how to draw angles in standard position and use some new vocabulary like initial side, terminal side, coterminal angles. So let's get started. It says draw an angle with the given measure in standard position. Label the initial side and the terminal side. So we have an angle of 240 degrees. To be in standard position, the initial side is always on the positive side of the x-axis. So the initial side is a ray following the x-axis, pointing in the positive direction. That's the initial side. And the angle is going to rotate counterclockwise clockwise. You might see us write it like this, CCW for counterclockwise. So um, I guess sadly we mostly have digital clocks now and we don't really have clocks that have like a second hand on it that rotates in a circle. But back in the day, back in my day, we had these circular things called clocks and there was like 12 at the top and six at the bottom and three over here and nine over here. And then there would be these little arms that we would have to figure out what time it was, but the arms would go around the circle this way. That was clockwise, the way of the clock. But in mathematics with trigonometry and angles, it goes the opposite way, counterclockwise. So we're gonna rotate this initial side. We're gonna rotate it. Uh, I'll do a kind of visual here. You rotate a little bit, it's here now. You keep rotating it. You're going to rotate it. Oh, if we rotated it and stopped here, this angle would be 90 degrees. That's a quarter of a circle. If we kept rotating, we end here. If we ended here, that would be 180 degrees. That's this is half a circle, counterclockwise. Um, so 240, let's see, if we went all the way down here, that would be three quarters of a circle, which is 270 degrees. That's a little too much. We only wanted to go 240. So we would be somewhere down here, and we'll do a little circle counterclockwise and label it as this is 240 degrees. The side that we start with right here is the initial side, and then this side where it ends is the terminal side, terminal meaning end, terminal side. Um, so that's a angle of 240 degrees. Uh, the next one has a heart by it, so that'll be a question on try this. So we'll leave that for you. Let's look at a 400 degree. Draw 400 degrees in standard form. Well, let's see. Here's the initial side. The initial side always has a point at 0, 0. And the ray is pointing along the x-axis in the positive direction. Now, if we go all the way around, that would be 360 degrees, right? A circle is 360 degrees. But this is 400, so we need to go a little bit more. We need to go 40 degrees more than 360. And I believe we'd still be in the first quadrant. I don't think it would make it all the way to the second quadrant. So here are the quadrants. We're 360s past the fourth and then a little bit into the first quadrant again. So the way we represent that, let's say about that much, we start here and we go all the way around and then end. So we've made a full circle, and then we end. This is the terminal side. This is the initial side. And our angle is 400 degrees. So that is drawing a 400 degree. And then let's look at another one, negative 150 degrees. Now, when it's negative, you're going to go in the opposite direction. So rather than going uh, counterclockwise, you're going to go clockwise. So we start again with the initial side is here. That's the initial side. Now, the terminal side, we're going to, instead of going this way, we're going to be going this way. That's what a negative does to our angle. So if we went this much, That'd be a quarter of a circle. That's negative 90 degrees. And you can see that it's a right angle right there anyway. 
If we went this far around, that would be negative 180 degrees. And, but that's too much. We only wanted 150. So it looks like we need to be down here. That's our terminal side. And we're drawing it like that. And that would be negative 150. And then you have another example, negative 720 is the one that you'll draw as part of your try this. Another term, um, so basically all that I've said uh, and explained is listed. The initial side, I give you a definition. The terminal side, I give you a definition. The standard position, I give you a definition for those of you who like definitions. So you can read those if you like. Um, and then I also explained about positive and negative angles. So a positive angle measure is one that looks like this, going counterclockwise. Whereas a negative angle measure is one that looks like this, initial side, and let's, oh, let's make it look like the same as the last one. But we'll just say we're going clockwise now, clockwise instead of counterclockwise, and that would be a negative angle. So notice this positive and negative angle, they look the same, it's just one's going clockwise, the other go, is going counterclockwise. And that kind of gets at the idea of what a coterminal angle means. A coterminal angle is an angle that shares the same initial side and terminal side. So coterminal, like cooperation is operating together, cooperating. A coterminal is the same ending point. So let's go back to this. I'm going to get rid of a couple of these terms here. If you wanted to draw a coterminal angle, a positive and a negative, coterminal angle. A positive, we'll do this in red, a positive coterminal angle would have the same initial side and the same terminal side. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go around the whole circle once, that's 360, plus all the way around again and stop at the same spot. So we had 240 and we went a whole 360 around the circle. So that looks like 600 degrees would be a positive coterminal angle, coterminal. To do a negative coterminal angle, we need the same initial side, we need the same terminal side, but we go clockwise, and we don't have to go all the way around the circle once, which is nice. So if we did 240 was what we started with, and subtract 360, that gives us negative 120 degrees, would be the negative coterminal angle. So that's the approach. You might notice a similarity here. We're either adding or subtracting 360 to find coterminal angles. And let's see what that would look like with this angle, 400. So a positive coterminal angle would have the same initial side and the same terminal side. And you know, how about we just go like that? 400 already went around the circle once. How about we just go one time, not even a full, and you're still in the first quadrant. So that looks like it would be how many degrees? 360 is the whole thing. To get to 400 is 40 degrees. So 40 degrees is a positive coterminal angle. Uh, you also could have just added 360 to 400. 400 plus 360. Uh, and that would be 760 degrees would be a coterminal positive angle. We have really an infinite number of coterminal positive angles. Just keep adding 360. Uh, for a negative coterminal angle, we could go this way. Since it's negative, we're going to go clockwise, which is this way. So we need the same initial side, same terminal side, and we're going to go this way now, and that would be negative 320 degrees. I'm basing that off of this 40 here. How much do I need to complete 360 degrees for a full circle? That would be 320 and 40. Now you could have done 400 minus 360, 40, minus 360 again, and that gives you the negative 320 that we had. So negative 320 down right there is a negative coterminal angle. And then uh, one more example, then you could do the 720. Let's see. You could, if you want to 
get your brain firing that you know what you're doing, you could pause the video right now. See if you could figure these out. A positive coterminal, same initial, same terminal. Positive would be negative 150 plus 360 for a full circle. That's 210 degrees. So 210 degrees is a positive coterminal. And let's see, to get another negative, maybe it's already negative to begin with, so we need the same initial, same terminal. We're going to have to go around the circle another round. That would be negative 150 minus 360. That would be neg negative 510 degrees is the negative coterminal angle. All right, so I think we've answered all those questions. You have a couple try this, and we already, uh, I guess you have space down here if you need some extra space. Uh, but we'll call it right there. That's enough for that video. Thanks for watching this video. In the final video, we'll talk about converting degrees to this thing called radians and back and forth. See you later.